Are you tired of endless dates that lead nowhere? If you are, you're not alone. You're caught in the labyrinth contemporary dating, a maze filled with frustration and fatigue. Every day feels like a cyclic pattern of an infinite swipe fest. You're swamped with profiles, most of which don't spark an iota of interest. It feels like an endless quest akin to seeking a needle in a haystack. This haystack isn't a mere pile of hay, but a sprawling, chaotic city. And the needle? It isn't static. It morphs constantly, transforming continuously, making the quest more baffling. Each date feels like an expedition. You spend hours primping and preening, hoping to make a lasting impression. Then comes the awkward conversation, the forced laughter, the exchange of interests, only to figure out that your paths were never meant to cross. It's not merely about the sting of not finding the one. It's about the drain on your time and energy, the sinking realization that another hour spent was another hour wasted. Each minute on a futile date is a minute you could have spent on something worthwhile, perhaps even with someone who genuinely matters. Imagine the countless opportunities missed, the moments lost, and for what? The search for love isn't supposed to be a monotonous task, it's not supposed to feel like overtime at a demanding job. Instead, it's supposed to be an enlightening journey, a voyage of self-discovery. It's about forming a meaningful connection, creating a bond that transcends the physical. You're not just looking for a partner, you're looking for a soulmate, someone who compliments you. Time is invaluable and it should be treated as such. Love is equally precious, it's not something to be rushed or forced, it should come naturally, seamlessly, without any undue strain. So let's delve deep into the world of modern dating and find out how you can find love without squandering precious time. First things first, know what you want. Sounds simple, right? But you'd be surprised at how many of us don't truly understand our own desires. We're not talking about a checklist of traits you're looking for in a partner. No, it's about digging deeper. Understanding your core values, your passions, your life goals. Ask yourself, what kind of relationship do you want? Do you seek companionship, partnership, or someone to share adventures with? What kind of person would complement your lifestyle and aspirations? These are not easy questions, but answering them honestly will bring clarity. Having a clear understanding of your wants will not only help you recognize the right partner when they come along, but it will also guide your decisions and actions in the dating world. It's about aligning your desires with your actions. Once you know what you want, you are already halfway there. Next, open your eyes and look around. It's time to take a fresh look at your surroundings. You see, love isn't always found on a candlelit dinner date or through a dating app. Sometimes it's closer than you think. You may be surprised to find that love can blossom in the most familiar places. It could be in the shared laughter with a longtime friend, in the comforting presence of a colleague during a stressful workday, or even in the casual banter with an acquaintance at the coffee shop. It's about recognizing the potential for love in the relationships you already have. It's about seeing the people in your life in a new light with new possibilities. So don't limit yourself to the traditional avenues of finding love. Instead, embrace the unexpected and the familiar. Love might be waiting just around the corner. All you need to do is look. The key to finding love is being yourself. That's a phrase that's been tossed around so much it almost sounds cliche, but it's true. Authenticity is vital when it comes to attracting the right partner. It's like a magnetic force, drawing people who appreciate your true essence towards you. Imagine walking around in a mask, pretending to be someone you're not. Sure, you might attract people, but they're attracted to the mask, not you. It's tiring, isn't it? And eventually, when the mask slips off, the illusion shatters. This leads to mismatched relationships and, you guessed it, wasted time. Being yourself, on the other hand, saves you the trouble. It weeds out those who aren't compatible with you. It allows you to connect on a genuine level. And most importantly, it paves the way for love that's real, not based on pretense or false impressions. Remember, the right person will love you for who you are. To sum up, here's how to find love without wasting time. First off, clarity is key. It's not about having a long list of requirements, but about understanding the fundamental values and qualities that are important to you. This not only saves you time, but also helps you to connect with potential partners on a deeper level. Secondly, sometimes love is closer than you think. Instead of constantly seeking new connections, consider the people already in your life. Friends, colleagues, acquaintances, these are relationships built on shared experiences and mutual respect. Who knows, love might just be a conversation away. Lastly, authenticity. 
There's no point pretending to be someone you're not. Love thrives on authenticity, on being comfortable in your own skin. By being true to yourself, you naturally attract people who appreciate you for who you are, not who they want you to be. Time waits for no one, and neither should love. Ditch the dates and find love today. Thanks for watching and please like, share, subscribe. Want to learn more about improving communication, dealing with emotions, improving intimacy and bettering yourself in love and relationships? Then remember to head on over to lovepinnacle.com for more great love and relationship tips and articles.